Now remember the summation operator has um, value i going from 1 to n. So suppose uh, as an example suppose we have i going from 1 to 3 and you are doing summation 2 times xi. Okay. This would mean i going from 1 to 3 summation 2xi would mean 2x1 plus 2x2 plus 2x3. Here x the value of x is changing because it's a variable. So when i equals to 1 x1 is the first value When i equals to 2 x2 is the second value and when i equals to 3 x3 is the second value. As you can see I can take 2 common here and I will have x1 plus x2 plus x3 which means I can write this as 2 summation xi where i in this case is going from 1 to 3 okay now remember throughout this book that you have with you they are not mentioning the subscript i over here simply because it is understood when you have operators such as summation sign or product signs it is always for i going from 1 to n but, but because it is understood they choose to ignore that they are writing it simply as y equals to summation ax plus b so what you have to remember is since a represents a constant it can be taken outside the summation sign okay so if i write this in those general terms i can write this as 2 times summation x where x is going from 1 to whatever is the number of observations okay similarly let me show you how summation b is equal to n times b now again suppose my number of observations is 3 so summation b i is going from 1 to 3 so that means b plus b plus b i am adding up b 3 times which means it is 3 times b or in general terms summation b will be n times b where n is the total number of observations ok so I hope this how we took a out of the summation sign and how we got summation b as equal to n times b is somewhat clear to you ok uh, you do not have to remember this derivation all you need to remember if you are finding it too tough is this normal equation so this is your first normal equation and second normal equation can be calculated when to get your second normal equation you have to apply your summation sign to x times y which means I told you y is equal to ax plus b this is the functional form so x times y would be equal to x times ax plus b which means x times y is ax square plus bx now when I apply the summation operator I am going to both sides remember if I do any operation on one side of the equation I have to do the same on the other side as well so I will get summation xy is equal to summation ax square plus summation bx now like I did earlier the constant parameters can be taken outside the summation sign so I will get that as summation xy is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x so my second normal equation 
is summation xy is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x. Now, the same principle of least squares can also be applied if the line that you want to fit to the data at hand is a parabola that is a quadratic equation. Remember quadratic equations of degree 2 they all have curved shape so they are parabolas. So suppose the line or function that you want to fit is to fit a parabola suppose the equation you want to fit is of the form y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c since there are three terms in this equations you will have three normal equations The first normal equation will be arrived at if you apply the summation operator to the original function y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. So you will get it as summation y is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x plus summation c will be n times c. Your second normal equation can be arrived at by applying the summation operator to x times y. So let me just write x times y will be x y will be a x is cube plus bx square plus cx. Now if I apply the summation operator to this xy, I will get my second normal equation as summation xy is equal to a times summation x cube plus b times summation x square plus c times summation x. And you will also have a third normal equation in the case of fitting a parabola. Which will be when you which you will get when you apply the summation sign to x square y. So x square times y would be a times x to the power 4 plus b times x cube plus c times x square. So applying the summation sign, I'll get my third normal equation as summation x square y is equal to a times summation x4 to the power 4 that is plus b times summation x to the power 3 plus c times summation x to the power 2. Now if you remember your simultaneous equations, you will know that if you have to find the value of three unknowns a b and c you need three equations which is why when we have to fit a parabola and you need to find the values for parameters a b and c i will need three normal equations okay so the procedure now is simple if you remember your normal equations and you have got the data regarding pair of equations you simply need to fit them into the normal equations and then solve for the parameters a, b, c, how many ever you have. Okay. As an example, let's try and fit a straight line to the following data using the principle of least squares. So since it's a straight line, the equation that we are trying to find is y equals to ax plus b. Now you know that to fit the straight line we need to find we are basically searching for the values of parameters a and b. 
and to do that we need our two normal equations the first is summation y is equal to a times summation x plus n times b and the second is summation x times y which is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x now the values of summation y summation x n summation x y summation x square can all be found from this table so let's proceed to do that we know that summation x is 28 summation y will be the total of y values which comes up to 60 we will be needing x square so that's 4 9 25 64 100 so summation x square when you add up the total column comes up to 202 similarly we also need x y summation x y so x into y 2 into 5 10 3 into 6 18 5 into 10 50 8 into 18 is 144 10 into 21 is 210 and these add up to 432 now putting all the appropriate values in our two normal equations 1 and 2 I will get my equations as summation y 60 is equal to a times 28 okay let me just write it 28a plus n times b n is the number of observations which in this case is 5 so 5b so from the first normal equation I get this from the second normal equation I am going to get the value summation x y that is 432 is equal to a times summation x square that is 202 a and b times summation x that is 28 b so as you can see i have got two equations and two unknown variables and since these are these are actually linear two straight line equations you can as follow solve this by solving the pair of simultaneous equations i'm calling this equation 3 i'm calling this equation 4 solve this pair of simultaneous so equation 3 i'm going to multiply by 28 and equation 4 i'm going to multiply by 5 so that the coefficients of b turn out to be same in both the equations um, the values that I will get are 784a plus 140b is equal to 28 into 60 which is 1680. Similarly, by multiplying the fourth equation with 5, I will get 1010a that is 1010a plus 5 times 28 is 140b and 5 times 432 is 2160. Okay, so this is equation 5, this is equation 6. Um, subtracting. 5 minus 6 okay so when I'm subtracting remember change all the signs so plus and minus 140 B will cancel 784 minus 1010 will come up to negative sorry 20 uh, will come up to 
1.26a which is equal to 1680 minus 2160 will come up to negative 480 so the value of a will be 480 by 226 minus where the minus and minus sign cancels out and your value of a is 